Hi, my name is Reina and I'm a registered dietitian and a clinical liaison with Sentido Health. In this video, I will be taking you step by step on how to perform formula mixing. Before we start our formula mixing, we need to establish some cleaning techniques. These cleaning techniques include, first, wash your hands before touching the formula or the delivery system. Second, make sure your equipment and delivery system are clean by washing before and after formula preparation. Third, we want to maintain a clean working area throughout the entire process. And fourth, we want to make sure that we clean the top of the formula containers before opening. So if we're ready to eat formula, we would clean this part right here before using. And then we can also clean the cans for the powdered formula. Now that I've gone through the cleaning techniques, we can get started. For our formula mixing, we will need the amount of formula prescribed by your healthcare provider, water, a measuring container for measuring water, cups and spoons, an empty container for mixing, or a blender, and a storage container. So you want to consult the recipe that was provided to you by your dietitian. Today I'll be demonstrating an infant formula and we'll be making 6 ounces. First, I'm going to measure the amount of water that is needed for my formula. So. I'll add six ounces of water to the measuring container. Okay, so I've got six ounces. I'm gonna add this water to my mixing container, just like that. Then I'm gonna add my formula. So for the six ounces, of water I'm gonna add six unpacked scoops I can also use a blender to mix my formula so it all depends on how much you're making Once the powder is well dissolved, let the bubbles settle by letting it sit for 10 to 15 minutes. You will especially want to do this if you are using a blender. Make sure there is no undissolved powder because this can clog the tube. Also check for bubbles because they can cause pump errors. Once it's ready, you can pour the formula back into a liquid measuring cup in the amount you want the pump to deliver. So I'm going to add 4 ounces to my measuring cup. going to add this amount to my heating bag um, and then close the cap and connect it to the pump. Whatever amount I have left, I can put that in a storage container and then have it refrigerated for a later use. The last thing we want to do is to make sure that we maintain a proper temperature of formula during storage and delivery. To do this, we will record the date and time formula is opened, cover opened unused formula and store it in the refrigerator, discard open unused ready to feed formula after 48 hours, and discard unused reconstituted formula after 24 hours. We will also want to make sure that we do not hang the formula at bedside for prolonged periods of time by following the manufacturer's recommendations for hang times. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you found these formula mixing instructions useful. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us and we would be happy to help. Thanks.